Rule number one, do not touch bright colored animals. Now what we're looking at here is a blue dragon sea slug and like I said, you should never touch them. Blue dragons love eating this highly venomous Portuguese man of war. They have a painful sting that can easily send a human to the ER or even be fatal. This tiny one inch dragon repurposes that venom to use for themselves against predators. So like I said before, never touch bright animals in the wild. Peace and love, baby. I know Shark Week already passed, but I want to talk about hammerhead sharks because they're very interesting. Did you know not all hammerhead sharks have hammerheads? Some are shaped more like shovels. We've found at least nine different species of the hammerhead shark. Their heads have that hammer shape for a few reasons, but most impressively for their sight. Because of their head shape, they can see 360 degrees. Also, because their dorsal fin is so long, they prefer to swim sideways. There's nothing really too interesting about it, but it just looks funny. Now, I don't know if you already knew this or not, but they are huge. The great hammerhead shark can grow to about 11 feet usually, but in some cases, they've grown to 20 feet long. And for some reason, they're just cool with humans. There's no record of any fatal attacks on humans at all. So the hammerhead shark is pretty cool, man. And as always, peace and love, baby. I know this looks like someone played Love Doctor between a seal and a bat, but it's actually just a flying lemur. This one in specific, I think, is the Sunda flying lemur. They can be found in Southeast Asia, ranging from Indonesia to Singapore. Now, they're called flying lemurs, but they don't actually fly, they glide. Usually, animals with superpowers like this also have super problems. Turns out that they're, they're not the best on land, they're actually pretty vulnerable when they're on land, so they usually just climb and glide from tree to tree. We know that mammals don't have wings, but these guys have a furry membrane called patagium. Patagium. Well, it's called something with a P. This fur-covered membrane connects from their face to their claws all the way down to their tail. And that's kind of the story of the flying lemur. And as always, man, peace and love, baby. Rule number one in the wild. Do not touch shiny animals. Exhibit A, the golden poison frog. It's got poison in its name. They're only two, they're like this big, but they hold enough poison to take out 10 men at one time. Their poison's found on their skin, so they're toxic to touch. Their poison permanently prevents your nerves from impulsing, which causes heart failure, and you're going in about 10 minutes. There's no cure either. Exhibit B, the coral snake. They're venomous, and the problem is their venom's mostly a neurotoxin, and it takes about 12 hours for any symptoms to show. But once you start feeling it, <laughs> you feel it. You're gonna start feeling drowsy, nauseous, start vomiting, then you won't be able to breathe, and there's more. Slurred speaking, double vision, droopy eyes, then you start feeling weak, and then you're paralyzed. And last but not least, the blue dragon sea slug. If you don't know what this is, that means you don't follow me and you didn't watch my video a few days ago, so. Go ahead and fix that. Peace and love, baby. You know, I'm actually glad that we're finally having this talk. African wild dogs are the greatest hunters in Africa. Nope, not lions, hyenas, the African wild dog. These intelligent predators roll in packs of 20, they're great communicators, and they like, they like sneeze to talk. So if you're in the wild and just so happen to be on their radar, the last thing you wanna hear is a sneeze. What make them such great hunters, power in numbers, they strategize and they never get tired. They literally run 40 miles an hour and never get tired. They can run for over three miles. Just imagine 15 to 20 of these guys running after you for three miles at 40 miles an hour. When hunting, they have an 80 to 85% success rate. To put that in perspective, cheetahs have a 58 and lions have a 25% success rate. Oh yeah, they're the greatest hunters in Africa. And as always, man, peace and love, baby. Yes, it's real. Yes, we have to talk about it, and yes, it's staring at you right now. This is a harpy eagle, one of the largest and most powerful eagles in the world. It's not photoshopped. That's real.
These eagles can grow to about three and a half feet with a wingspan of six feet long. And their talons are longer than most bear claws. They're about five inches and they're extremely powerful. With the ability to exert a few hundred pounds of bone crushing force, they can end their prey immediately. Being that they're so strong, they can hunt animals that are even larger than themselves. Their diet consists of monkeys, sloths, opossums, some iguanas, some other birds, and even small deer. And let's just take a second to you know, peace and love, baby. That nightmare on a stick is actually a golden crown flying fox, which is the largest bat in the world. These oversized bats have a wingspan of five foot six, which is basically the same height as me. They get their name, the flying fox, because yeah, they can be found in South Asia, Africa, some oceanic islands in India, and of course, Australia. And they don't run alone. Sometimes they roll in packs of 200,000. Though they may look a little vicious, they're very vital to their ecosystem. Pollen sticks to the fur on their bodies, which they transfer over to other plants while they move during the day. But they're also just kind of weird, bro. They don't use echolocation like other bats. They're almost completely vegetarian, and they mate upside down. There's always been peace and love, baby. Have we all just forgot about this demon looking fish? These three foot monsters are native to Asia and Africa, but somehow made their way to America. They can now be found in Maryland, Georgia, many other places, and of course, Florida. After a man reported catching a snakehead fish in Georgia, the news went worldwide. Enforcement in Georgia requested that anyone who catches a snakehead fish should end it and then freeze it. Snakehead fish are extremely aggressive with razor sharp teeth that can cut through flesh, even humans. They're extremely invasive creatures that can lay up to 50,000 eggs a year each. And on top of that, they can live on land without water for like three whole days. They can't walk, but they can kind of slither on land. So basically what I'm telling you is there's a chance that we have an unlimited supply of invasive creatures that can kind of walk on land, have sharp teeth, and dang, I thought I had a third one, but I guess that's it. All right, peace and love, baby. Okay, it's time that we cleared this up once and for all. You know that term blind as a bat, right? No bats are actually blind. There's not one single species that can't see. I think since bats use echolocation, we have this weird thought in our head that they can't see at all. When in reality, it's because they hunt at night and it helps them detect their prey and maneuver through the night. Also, this bat, the flying fox, has better eyesight than we do. This is also the flying fox. And if you know, you know, they're the largest bats in the world. Their eyesight's just as good as ours during the day, but then at night, it's way better. So yeah, I just I just needed to get that off my chest. And as always, man, peace and love, baby. Contrary to popular belief, hippos can't actually swim. Now they do move very fast underwater, but they're technically not swimming. They are running. Push their bodies to the top of the surface to, you know, take a breath, and then they drop back down to the bottom of whatever body of water they're in and run underwater. And that's it. That's the whole video. And as always, man, peace and love, baby.